personally, I think of the, the song, The West Virginia Hills. As I get older, I was going to move out of West Virginia earlier in life, but as I get older, God, I can't tell you. I've told my kids I'm dying in West Virginia because this is my home. I get kind of emotional about it. But, uh, well, I live it, down there as well. It means down. a lot to it a means lot of people. I've never been out of West Virginia for yeah. a short stint with the Army. It's, uh, it's the only thing. And, sure. uh, and I intend to die. Uh, and, and I'm with you with the passion. And have ever better protection. I just need to get you a new dictionary so you quit. Uh, yeah, so we're, the time on, we're having the discussion uh, as to where we draw the lines. Uh, but we feel that once you, once you destroy that mountain, you're not putting it back. I've got a forestry wildlife background. You can grow trees. You're going to have trouble growing grass. You're going to have a lot of erosion. You're going to have problems. You're protecting as you can against that, but you can only do so much. I invite you to come down and take a look. <coughs> I'd like to see a lot of 20,000 feet. I see from a lot of people, from my point, we're all going to die. We're not going to live forever. So when we're on our deathbed, what are we going to look back at? What, what's important? What questions might we ask them? Well, that's too late to ask the questions then. We've got to ask the questions now. Well, if, if it happens to me today, I'd be very proud to look back and represent who I do. I, I can tell you that. Uh, tourism, let me, let me mention. The Hatfield-McCoy Trail is probably one of the most vibrant tourism uh, pieces in southern West Virginia, and it